Hi and welcome everyone to another lesson in our course for wind turbines. In this lesson, we would like to discuss the second component, which is the gearbox. So as we remember, we discussed that the wind turbine blades convert the kinetic energy of the wind and uh, converts it into mechanical energy. Okay, it will, since the, this uh, rotor blade start rotating, they have a shaft here. Now, this shaft is connected to a gearbox, which increases the speed suitable for our electrical generator. Okay, so simply as we remember, we said that the wind turbine turns the wind energy into electrical energy by using the uh, aerodynamic forces from the rotor blades okay it converts the kinetic energy of air into or wind into mechanical energy okay now this uh, wind turbine blades have a shaft which is connected to a gearbox the gearbox is used in a wind turbine to increase the rotational speed from a low speed rotor which is the low speed of the uh, blades they are rotating very very slowly into a higher speed electrical generator like this because the electrical generator requires a very large amount of speed okay so as an example the generator needs 1500 rpm compared to a wind turbine which can give us 15 rpm for example okay so the function of this gearbox is that increases the speed now, how does it work? Simply, we have uh, two gear gears inside it, one which have a very small velocity, very large number of teeth, okay, very large number of teeth, and another uh, gear which have a small number of teeth, okay. Now, the ratio between these two, the connection between these two, provides us larger RPM. How? the power input to this uh, gear is equal to the power output to this gear with some losses of course okay so simply the speed of the first um, gearbox the first one here the first gear multiplied by the number of its cities the number of its cities is equal to rpm of the second the speed of the second multiplied by the number of teeth of the second okay so, for example, we have in the first one, we have low speed, okay, low speed, like this, low speed, okay, and the first one, which is this one, and this one has a large number of teeth, so it will be a large number, okay, so small value multiplied by large value equal to second gear, this gear, has a small number of teeth. So in order for these two sides to be equal to each other, we need a large speed, okay? So for example, this converts from the low speed, as you can see here, into large speed, okay? This is the function of the gearbox. Now a common ratio which is used in the wind turbines is 90 to one. What does this mean? It means that if the speed of this turbine of the or the rotor plates is 16.7 rpm revolutions per minute 16.7 revolution per minute as an input from the rotor then the speed of the generator will be 1500 how because it is a ratio of 90 to 1 we multiply 16.7 multiplied by 90 gives us 1500 rpm okay so as an example if we have here for example 90 t's we will have one t's here okay as an example okay of course it is not uh, 90 here and one here for example it will be for 900 and we have here 10 as an example okay anyway the ratio between this t's is 90 to 1 gives us an increase in speed of 90 times now some multi-megawatt wind turbines which are known as the direct drive machines 
Direct drives mean that the shaft is connected directly to the generator. It does not have any gearbox. In this case, the generator will have the same speed as the turbine rotor. Okay, so we have some cases which we use gearbox or most of our cases we use gearbox and some of the machines called the direct drive, they don't need any gearbox and they uh, produce power directly. Okay, now other types in our market for the gearbox, instead of 90 to 1, we could have values between um, 30 to 1. Okay, 30 to 1. This is a common ratio also in the market. Okay, this is a, a very large ratio, 90 to 1. Others have a lower percentage, which is or lower ratio, 30 to 1. So in this lesson, we had an idea about the gearbox and its function in the wind turbine.